In this session, let us understand natural language processing by revisiting the AI project cycle as well as understand about chatbots. To know how to develop a project in natural language processing, let us take this example. We all know that the world is competitive nowadays. People face competition even in the tiniest tasks and are expected to give their best at any point of time. When they are not able to meet the expectations, they get stressed and they also get into depression. We hear a lot of cases where people are depressed due to reasons like peer pressure, studies, family issues, relationships, etc. And they eventually get into something that is bad for them as well as for others. So, to overcome this, Cognitive behavioral therapy is considered to be one of the best methods to address stress as it is easy to implement and get good results. Now, if you see this picture, you can easily make out that any negative thoughts or feelings could be easily converted to a positive one by using cognitive behavioral therapy. This is a technique which is used by most therapists. And people who are not willing to go meet a doctor, that is a psychiatrist, can easily use this therapy and overcome the problem. So there is a need to bridge the gap between the person who needs help and the psychiatrist. Now taking this as the scenario, let us try to understand how to go about an AI project cycle. So the first stage of AI project cycle is problem scoping wherein we are going to finalize the aim of AI project. For this, we make use of 4W problem canvas. The first W is who. Here we look into the stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders here? People who suffer from stress and or on the onset of depression. What do you know about them? They are not ready to go meet a psychiatrist and get their issue solved. Right? Now we look into the second block which is the what block. Here we look at the problem. Now what is the problem here that we want to address? That people are reluctant to go meet a psychiatrist. Hence their life is miserable because they are in a heavy depression or they are undergoing stress and are not able to come out of it right so this is the problem how did we know about the problem there are a lot of studies that happen about mental stress and depression and this problem is one which is available on various authentic sources this is how one comes to know about such a problem now we move on to the third block the where block in which we look into the context or situation where the stakeholders are experiencing this problem. So what is the context that we are talking about here? When they are going through a stressful period of time, they may have encountered some unpleasant experiences, they are not able to cope up with the stress, some kind of a pressure, some kind of a problem in their relationship, some, some unpleasant experiences, where they experience depression. The last or the fourth block that we are going to look into is the why block. Here, so what is the value that the stakeholders would receive if they have a solution for this problem? Right? So people get a platform where they can talk and vent out their feelings anonymously. If you don't know the person to whom you're talking to, but you're confident that they are not going to share your problems with anyone else. You definitely start venting out your feelings. And this particular solution that we would be coming up can act as a medium that can interact with them. And uh, it also applies the primitive cognitive behavioral therapy to take out the negative emotions at a very basic level and can help them as in when they feel depressed or stressed out by giving some suggestions. Right? So this solution will improve a person's depression by venting out the stress or uh, at some point of time they would even consider 
to go to a psychiatrist and get the problem solved because depression is something that is caused by some chemical changes in the brain now that we have seen the four w's of the problem scoping using 4w problem canvas one can go ahead and frame the problem statement template the problem statement template goes this way for the problem it is our stakeholders that is the people undergoing stress from the first block have a problem that they are not able to share their feelings is taken from the what block when they need help in venting out their emotions is taken from the where block an ideal solution would be to provide them a platform where they can share their thoughts anonymously and suggest help whenever required now this is the solution that we took from the why block so ultimately the goal of our ai project here is to create a chatbot that can interact with people and help them to vent out their feelings and take them through the primitive cognitive behavioral therapy and this is the outcome that we've seen in the first stage of ai project cycle that is problem scoping next we move on to the second stage of ai project cycle data acquisition so here to understand the sentiment of people we need to collect all the conversational data so that the machine can interpret the words and understand the meaning what possible ways can we collect data the first is to develop your own questionnaire conduct some surveys and collect data from this the second way in which you can collect data is by observing a therapist session or doctor session and see how he is asking question and what are the responses given by the person who is currently in the onset of depression the third way in which you can collect data is definitely from the internet the databases or the data sets that are available on the internet finally you can also meet some people who had already undergone such therapies and then interview them and collect data from them so these are ways in which you can collect data from reliable sources now we move on to the third stage of ai project cycle and that is your data exploration now how are we going to explore data in the nlp domain here once you collect the data you are going to process it and clean it here we are going to minimize the vocabulary and normalize the text this way you tend to explore data for example if you have a lengthy sentence you are going to break it down into words and from that you are going to take only the meaningful words so this is how we explore data in nlp domain in the third stage of ai project cycle now in the next stage that is the modeling stage okay the normalized text which is the output of data exploration stage is fed into an ai model depending on what type of chatbot we are going to make we are going to choose the respective ai model that is going to serve as the base for our project okay and once modeling is done we move on to the fifth stage the evaluation stage wherein the model is going to be evaluated for accuracy on the basis of the answers that is given by the machine so you have already noted down few responses now the machine is giving you some responses you are going to cross check whether it is working as per your expectations or not now if you see this picture which is displayed you see three different diagrams now whatever is represented as blue dots are the samples the blue line is your ai model which you have developed for your chatbot and the orange line is the actual function that touches all the samples now if you see the first one the first diagram you see that the model's output does not match the true function at all there are some data points which are over here that are left out and then you see there are some points which are left out over here and then you see some points left out here 
so it is not fitting properly so your accuracy is going to be very low here now this is said to be under fitting so you don't use this model now at the same time look at the last one the third figure this one now here if you see it is trying to cover each and every point see how complex is your model is so the model is trying to cover all the data samples even if they are out of alignment of the true function so this is also going to be performing poor the accuracy level is very low and this particular model is said to be overfitting now look at the one in the middle the orange line and the blue line goes almost nearly well right that is the model's performance matches well with the true function so this is the optimum accuracy that one can imagine so here we say that this is a perfect fit so you are going to evaluate model and look out for the graph which is going to be a perfect fit so this way you will evaluate a model which you have developed so thus students we have covered all the five stages of ai project cycle problem scoping data acquisition data exploration modeling and evaluation moving ahead let us understand about chatbots chatbots are an application of nlp now we can call this as intelligent enough to sense the context of the conversation that one engages in and executes the right flow of conversation now we have a lot of chatbots that are available let us have a look at some of them the first one that you can see here is mitsuku bot which is currently known as kuki now this is a chatbot from england if you converse with this chatbot it claims itself to be an 18 year old girl and an ai best friend forever when you chat with this you will understand that it doesn't give a feel of a scripted chatbot so please check this chatbot the links for all the chatbots that we would be discussing is given in the description section the second chatbot that uh, i would want you to explore is the clever bot now clever bot gives responses which are not pre programmed that means they say that this is also not scripted and it understands everything with what you give and they give a warning that you know you should not give your personal details to clever bot so please be careful while using clever bot now the third one here is jabber wacky which is the predecessor of clever bot and this also simulates a human chat and it is said to be entertaining you and give you interesting and humorous answers so you can check this out as well the fourth one is haptic if you open the link of haptic you will have to choose chatbot and it introduces itself as via which is a intelligent virtual assistant okay this particular chatbot is used only uh, for answering the queries related to the company looks like however i want you all to explore and check how this works as well the next one is rose rose is also very interesting chatbot uh, now this has an option to go in for a text based chat as well as a voice based chat interesting right so you can check on how this one works now the last one is a o chatbot which has a list of fun chatbots so you would find certain names repeating here it's just a link to various chatbots that are available once you try these chatbots there are a few questions that we can discuss you can understand for what purpose a chatbot was developed was it for a particular company was it for quick and efficient response just because it gives an immediate feedback or you know it provides 24 hours service irrespective of which location you are in the world you get instant responses so the chatbot is live for 24 hours on a website or it can give a better web experience 
these are some of the purposes for which a chatbot generally is developed then the next question that they have given you in your book is how was the interaction with the chatbot do you find it good do you find it giving prompt and proper answers is it able to address and answer your queries was it friendly rude or was it entertaining so these are some aspects that you can think about when you talk about the interaction with the chatbot next when you are chatting please do check whether you are talking to a human or a robo sometimes we feel that the responses are scripted it's simply taking the answers from somewhere and giving you sometimes we also feel that the personal touch is missing it's just giving the answers blindly some chatbots definitely showcase some emotions in the conversation that makes us to have an interesting flow of conversation you can also look for a personality how does your chatbot how did any of these chatbot behave did it greet you what kind of language or tone did it use uh, was it simple was it easy to use uh, did it stick on to a gender name or a character and was it repeatedly calling itself a human or something like that so this shows that you know the chatbot also has a certain personality which is the number one factor for making an emotional connect with a customer as you interact with the chatbot you can come up with these uh, answers now let us understand that there can be two different types of chatbot one is your script bot and the other one is your smart bot now script bots are very very easy to make whereas your smart bots are flexible and powerful if you take script bots they are programmed around a script that is pro programmed in them whereas your smart bot can go for bigger databases and other resources directly they can check for answers online and come up with answers mostly the script bots are free and are easy to integrate to a messaging platform whereas your smart bots learn easily with more and more data to develop a script bot you need no or little language processing skills whereas for a smart bot you need to know uh, programming you need to take coding and then you have to come up with it now a script bot will have a very very limited functionality whereas a smart bot is going to have a wide range of functionalities now having understood the difference between a script bot and the smart bot now students can you give me some examples examples could be the bots which are developed in the uh, customer care sections of companies or the ones that handle queries on websites right now on the other hand if you think of smart bots you can say google assistant alexa cortana siri all these that can handle conversation as well as two other tasks make them smart so students these are the differences between a traditional script bot and a smart bot that we see nowadays so in this session we have revisited the ai project cycle and understood the basics of chatbot i hope these topics are clear to you please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you